already have my moisturizer on and now I'm going in with a primer and this one is from Catrice and it's called the Prime and Fine Nude Glow Primer. Uh, this is the first time using it so let's see how it turns out. Look at my lips, ugh. By the way, can you see my lips are a little bit bruised here? Uh, I didn't get lip injections again, it's just I tried those full lips enhancer and I guess I suck too much. Oh, that sounds so weird. Anyway, I was trying it yesterday and I was sucking for about 15 or 20 seconds and now this morning I have blue lips, which is so charming. Anyway, I have my primer on. I think it looks very nice. It's pretty glowy, but I am going in with a matte foundation. Um, <clears throat> sorry. This is the Fit Me Maybelline Matte Poreless Foundation and I am in the color 250 Sun Beige. And I am going to use an Ophel brush also for the first time. I just got it in the mail yesterday. It's from Makeup Revolution and I think it's their medium size Ophel brush. It feels pretty soft so let's see how it turns out. And if it doesn't work I always have my beauty blender from Real Techniques to blend it all out. I hope it's not too orange, but we'll see. I think this color is a bit too warm for my skin tone, but it doesn't matter. I am going in with a lot of concealer and highlighter, so we'll make it work. No worries. And I have to get used to these type of brushes. Normally I use a kabuki brush and then I just press with the brush on my face, but with this one, oh no, I don't know, I'm not sure. But for now, it's okay. Oh, it's actually really nice. You're supposed to rub it, right? But I don't know, that just feels unnatural and I think it will give you wrinkles, so I'm just going to pat in the foundation, which is, oh, looks okay. It's not full coverage, it's medium to maybe full coverage. Um, let's add a little bit more of the foundation and let's see if I can make this a full coverage foundation. Okay. They said this foundation was going to give you a matte finish. Um, and to be honest, I am not really a fan of using matte foundations i love the glowy look and that's why i used a like glowy primer underneath it so it's not extremely matte i'm sorry guys i have to go over with the beauty blender I'm, I'm i don't know i just have to yes okay so now that primer and foundation is on i'm going in with concealer and this is also a new one this is by rimmel london and it's the match perfection concealer it says that it's a two in one skin tone adapting concealer and highlighter um in the color 60 natural beige and it contains vitamin c and e wow how fancy okay let's do this Okay, liking the shade. I don't think this is a full coverage concealer, but it does feel nice on the skin. No, this is not a full coverage concealer. It is okay, but it's not perfect. It doesn't give me the coverage I want it to give me, but we'll make it work. I do have a highlighter that I'm going to use when I'm done with my concealer and my contouring, so we'll see. For now, it's okay. A little bit on the eye. 
I hope this one is not going to crease because other than the MAC Pro Longwear, um, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, or uh, what else do I use? No, oh, those are the only two concealers I actually use, I think. These two concealers do not crease on me when I set it correctly with powder, so let's see what happens with this one, this fancy vitamin C concealer. Okay, so now that I have my concealer, I am going to contour and I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Beautiful Bronze for my nose. And for the rest of my face, I am going in with Dark Coco. So, let's do this. And again, beautiful bronze for the nose. And I'm not applying it with the brush that's on the concealer, but I'm just applying a little bit on, of it on the back of my hand. And then I'm going in with the Morphe E47. Just a little bit, like so. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to let this sit. Uh, I'm first going in with my highlighter and then I am going to blend everything out. And for highlighting, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eye Eraser in the color light. A little bit on the bridge of my nose. Tiny amount here. And of course, the forehead. Okay, so first I am going to blend out the highlight and I'm using this Real Techniques blending sponge or beauty blender or whatever you want to call it. And then I'm going to blend out my contour. I look like a ghost. Okay, um, we're gonna leave the nose as it is right now. I'm first going to blend this out. Uh, and I'm using the Real Techniques contouring brush for this. Um, I think I applied a little bit too much of the darker concealer, but that's okay. We'll make it work again. I'm gonna take a little bit of the concealer to sharpen it like so. And then I am going to blend this again. Oh yeah, it creases. Hello. Okay, now for the nose, I am going to use a big, uh, large shader brush. It's from Boozy Brush, Boozy Shop, Boozy Shop, it's a shop in Holland. And I'm going to blend out my nose, bringing it all the way to my eyebrow or underneath my eyebrow, like so. Yeah. And then I'm going to blend out. Just going over it with the brush again. There is no product on this one, so don't you worry about that. Okay, so before I'm going to set everything with powder, I'm going to use the BB Cream by uh, Gerard Cosmetics to highlight my face. Just on the cheekbone, a little bit on the nose, and I'm going to blend it out with a Real Techniques sponge. 
Then it's time for some powder highlight. This is an eyeshadow by Kiko in the color 200 and it's the water, water something, I don't know, long lasting, wet and dry. It's called something with water, but I will link it down below, doesn't matter. To apply it, I'm going to use the Morphe 501 brush and this is so gorgeous. It's like an extreme gold highlight. It is perfection. It's like a dupe for MAC Whisper of Guild, which came out in December, but it was limited edition. So yeah. Oh, I forgot to blend this baby out. Whee! Yeah. Okay. Just a little bit. No, who am I kidding? It's not a little bit. Just put a ton of highlight on your face because it's highlighter and highlighter is a life. Do you see? Okay, okay, uh, that's enough. So to set my under eye in a little bit on um, the rest of my face, I'm going to use uh, the Rimmel London Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder. And I am using a Morphe brush, which is, where is it? Oh, it's not here, let me get it. I'm back. It's the Morphe 438 brush. Just blending everything out again. And then I'm going in with powder. Not on the highlight, just on the concealer. Okay, now that the powder is on, I'm going to bake a little bit using a yellow powder by W7. Never heard of that brand. I bought it yesterday, so let's see. Okay, it's, it's kind of a banana powder. Uh, all right, well. Under the cheekbones. To set my contour, I'm going in with the NYC Big Bowl Bronzing Powder, and I'm using a Morphe 530 brush, and I'm just applying a little bit on top of it, just a little bit, just to set it because it is already pretty intense, as you can tell. So let's not overdo it because I already did. See, for blush, I'm going in with a. Peachy one from Makeup Geek, the color Bliss, Sis, Bliss, Sis, I don't know, something Bliss or Sis. And I'm using a Morphe M50. To be honest, I'm not really a big fan of blush. I'm just applying it on the apples of my cheeks, but like extremely, extremely little, because I don't know. I just like the bronze colors instead of like a pink or how oh, my extension is itching. Um, anyway, instead of using a pink one, it's just not my thing. I'm not really a fan of it. So just a little bit, just because you have to wear blush. Okay, uh, I'm taking that powder highlighter again and I'm applying a little bit on the bridge of my nose. And I'm not applying it on the tip of my nose. I know some of you do that, and maybe for some shape noses, shape noses, shape noses, is that even correctly? Anyway, you know what I mean? It will look good, but for me, it just doesn't look good. I have kind of a rounder area here, and if I apply highlighter on top of that, it's just going to make it even more round. So we're not gonna do that. I'm only going to apply it on the bridge of my nose. And then just a little bit extra, because I'm all about that extra. Yeah. Back in with the bronzer brush, because I don't want to have a harsh highlighter. I just want it to be like popping. That's it. So I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and I'm blending everything together because. You don't want to have harsh lines. There is no product on this one. You know what? I'm going to make this a little bit more intense just because 
yeah, just because I am who I am. Okay, um, I'm going back in with the bronzer and the Morvi 530. So we are done with the face. This is my drugstore highlighting and contouring routine. I'm quickly going to do my eye makeup and some lipstick and I'll be right back. <sighs> you guys, I think the lighting sucks right now. I just tripped and my softbox fell and now it's broken. I have two softboxes like left of me, the right of me. And when I walked over to do my eye makeup, it just fell and now it's broke. So I don't know how the lighting is right now. I have one softbox in front of me, so maybe it's not okay, but well, I have to work with it. Um, anyway, this is me with my entire uh, makeup on. I did like the eye makeup I always do when I don't know what to do and a nude lip. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see me do more drugstore videos, please oh, let me know. Again, if the lighting sucks, uh, I'm sorry. I'm kind of upset right now because I don't know if the lamps are only broken or the entire thing is broken. There was glass on the ground. Yeah. So, what a day. Anyway, that's it. Thank you again, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.